What is up everyone? Good night and welcome back to the channel. My name is Comfy Reacts and tonight we're going to be reacting to Call of the Night episode 9. So on the last episode we are introduced to Mahiru, uh, apparently another one of Ko's childhood friends that he didn't know that he was friends with. Um, typical Ko, right? Anyway, Akira also knows him and they all hung out together. So who knows who else hung out with Ko as a kid. I don't know if we're going to get introduced to any more characters this season because I believe with Mahiru it was the last one from the intro. So unless there's a surprise character somewhere. Regardless, um, we're introduced with him, we get his whole backstory, blah, blah, blah. His, his, his family owns a flower shop. Uh, he's a good dude, he's a really good dude. But he did say that he is seeing someone and that they prefer to see him at night. So maybe that person that he's seeing is a vampire as well. That's what I was thinking, but we'll see what happens with this episode. We kind of ended off the last episode with um, Nazuna looking at him and the other, the girl that he was walking with, presumably the vampire, maybe not, the Oh, who knows we'll see it kind of ended off there i feel like it was a weird place to end it but maybe it'll go straight into this next episode so we'll see but with that being said remember to like subscribe comment let's jump right in <laughs> what <laughs> for whatever reason i am totally not surprised that they said that in this show but okay one of those <laughs> yeah <laughs> The clinginess, the clinginess. Ah, did, no. <laughs> oh my god, the sound of her head hitting the sign. Oh my god, that's so funny. She's like, she doesn't even need to do anything to you, bro. I got you. Your leg acted up. Yeah, she's durable. Her face will get fixed in no time. Oh. This is literally a vampire fight. I'm dead. Good question. But, but, ooh, the angle. Holy. He's just so mess withable. Ko, are you interested? Hmm, I see. Hmm. Are you sure about that? Or are you just lying? Bro, Ko can read. Can, can read people. For sure, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like Seri. Oh, so he gets her. In a way. Oh, Jesus. That is quite outrageous. I don't think... Oh my god, these angles this episode. I'm actually quite interested to see this. I feel like it's going to be cringe. What? He's just chilling. Bro, just hype her up, bro. Come on. Yo, you think Ko knows about this stuff? <laughs> this song, this song, this song, this song, this song, it's an old Japanese song. I love this song, actually. I wonder if they actually play it. They fast forwarded it, really. It's super old. What? It's dope. I love that song. Bro, relax. Yeah, who cares? Come on, stop judging. There we go. <laughs> who the heck is that? <gasps> it's the guy. It's the guy. It's the guy. It's the guy. It's the guy who was texting her. Bro, stop this. Don't do that. That is so creepy. I mean, you could get rid of him. You know, get rid of him. Yeah, it's like a horror movie. Wow. That is crazy. That's some crazy stalker stuff. Holy. I can see that. I mean, you could just call the cops and, you know, look in, bro. <laughs> you can't just brush your problems to the side and those angles. I mean, I, 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 um, that is not a good solution. You're kind, huh? Fair enough, that is true. 
Dude, these colors! Come on, man! Yo, hello? You are disgusting, my guy. The colors in this episode... Uh, I mean, yeah, I guess. This guy... Ooh! <laughs> you don't even know. <laughs> like, come on, you're such a weirdo, bro. <laughs> you fell back to her eyes. <laughs> oh, I'm dead, bro. That's no excuse. Ugh, these colors make me fall in love, bro. Like, okay. I get what they do. I get that this is what they do. And like, they they lead these these dudes along. But that is absolutely zero, zero excuse to act like this guy. He just wanted, like, someone to fill that void. I, I get it. I get it. But no one should ever be like he is. Oh god, she's here. Oh god, oh god, she's here. This episode. Yeah, what do you mean by that? Now, now he can't get away. <gasps> Nazuna! <laughs> she called Nazuna! <laughs> this is not good because he knows everything now. Oh? Yep, now it's gonna happen, buddy. <laughs> She's wanted to do that. <laughs> oh, I love these fights, bro. The animation, bro. Oh, wait, this is the first time? Is it the first time? Wait. Oh. Okay, so it was genuine. But then what happened, though? Yeah? But she was doing something similar to what Nazuna is doing. Nazuna, obviously. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's like, all right, get off. You're, you're fine. Oh, man. Wow. Even after giving up, like, the fact that you're a vampire? This episode is fantastic. Amazing. That's her idea of burning bridges, I guess. I mean, okay, look. No, he's not reasonable at all. No, really, he's not reasonable at all. Please. <laughs> this is kind of cute. I'm not going to lie. This is, this is sweet. Oh, this is so sweet. Yeah, another, another, it's an exception, but you can be an exception too, right? You just keep it low, right? Like, they're the same. This is so cute. Oh, my God. He's crying. The show is God tier. 
ちゃんと失恋する準備はできてたください。Is like a marriage proposal? Wait. Will be completely different. Yes, you will lose all that. But you're in love already. Yo, imagine if all this were an act by her. Like, really? Imagine. Oh my god. This is so sweet. Oh. Dang. Oh my god. <laughs> She's reading him like a book. Which is, I mean, it resolved it and it, it prevented him from getting killed. This song, the fact that they incorporated this song into the show, into this episode, is god tier. I love this song so much. Wow. This is so cute. Oh my god, this episode is the best. It is the best. Yeah, you got friends, man. This is great. That was episode 9 of Call of the Night, and oh my god, that episode was the best one ever. It was so good on so many levels. I love shows that go into the psyche of their characters. I love it so much. Man, I feel like a lot of people can relate to uh, the guy that Seri was seeing because stuff like that happens, you know what I mean? I feel like people watching can relate to both Seri and the guy in their respective places you know someone who's coming on a bit too strong or a bit too possessive and making you like you know pushing you away and vice versa someone who you thought that liked you or whatever you know stop responding to you uh forcing you to act that way which pushes them away further like everyone has kind of probably experienced that like drifting hopefully not to this degree because the guy i forgot his name but the guy he took it a bit too far and you should never ever 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 regardless of what anyone has done to you take it to the lengths that he has going like literally stalking a person everywhere they go like physically like knocking at the like that's that's that that is way too much like that is a no-no you should never ever do that but the way their story resolved itself was absolutely astounding because we find out that seti is just like nazuna and she wants a relationship like ko has with nazuna wherein there doesn't necessarily has to be like romance involved in it she just wants to be a friend you know what i mean and like she's tired of the whole this person fall in love with me turn them to a vampire make this person fall in love me turn into vampire she's sick of it it's monotonous so she wanted like a friend on friend situation which is what nazuna and ko has and funny enough even though nazuna hates seti she's very much like her and i think that nazuna finally learned a bit about seti uh and they're gonna grow a lot closer at the end of the day seti ended up turning into her offspring anyway which funny enough i feel like goes against what she wanted to begin with like just a friendship because i guess they can be vampire buddies now right i guess i guess that's what it means because other otherwise it would have been too complicated and uh the fact that he knows about the whole vampire thing it would have put him in the same position as ko is in and narratively that wouldn't make sense because if ko is in that position and say for some reason he doesn't get turned into a vampire or like he doesn't fall in love within the one year span he's at risk of getting killed while that guy wouldn't be at risk of getting killed like he would have to be on the same page otherwise narratively it wouldn't make sense so i guess in this way him turning into a vampire makes it make more sense right so you know seti doesn't have to hide anything from the other vampires and stuff like that and they can still be friends technically right so regardless we see them at the end of the day all in karaoke together they are now presumably a little friend group. Ko was like, wow, this is actually pretty fun. And it did look really fun. Not to mention they featured a banger of a song in this episode. If you listen to old school Japanese songs, you know exactly what song this is. Aside from all the like thematic things that appeared in this episode, we also get eye candy as in not talking about the camera and like the shots and the angles of Seri. I'm talking about the color palette and how the entire thing changed in that one scene in the karaoke place. That was absolutely 
absolutely gorgeous. That was beautiful. I loved every second of it. Artistically, the show is god tier. I love it so, 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 so much. It is one of my favorites. I know I say that about a lot of shows, but I wouldn't be reacting to it if I didn't like it. You know what I mean? So that being said, we also get amazing animation this episode. The animation when they decide to pop off like that is fantastic. Nazuna is a boss, especially when it comes to Ko. I love that Ko is like touches the, the, the communicator and all of a sudden she just runs in and absolutely demolishes <laughs> Seti. You can tell that she is the strongest one pretty much out of all of them, at least in terms of brute strength. Um, but yeah, I cannot wait to get into the next episodes. The show is, I loved it from the first episode. I knew there was something, I'm really good, I think at least at sniffing out when a show is special. And this from episode one, if you've seen my reactions, the playlist is in the description. If you've seen my reaction to episode one, you know as soon as I started watching it, I knew it was gonna be special. And the episodes moving forward, I feel like are going to be awesome as well. So with that being said, I cannot wait to watch the next episode with you guys and I'll see you guys for that one. Peace.